Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, also known as Lauren Budgets here on YouTube. And today I am doing my first paycheck of June, 2021, on my cash stuffing. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I always start with the envelopes that I keep in my wallet, which is my fun money or my spending money and my groceries. Both of these get 75. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. 50, 70, and 5 for groceries. And then 75 again for the money. This should be all my ones, yeah. So 50, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. Perfect. So I've got those done. And then we are going to jump in to my sinking funds. Um, Mia, this is just her spending money that I give her. Um, she, sorry guys, she um, gets $5. <laughs> I lost my train of thought so my phone just rang. Um, Mia gets 20 30 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, and 62. So we're really close to another 100 here, probably in about another three months or so. Not sure, but um, once I hit 100, she'll I'll put the prop money back in here, um, and then we'll save up to about $40, and then the 100 that is in the same that I deposit into the savings account will remain in her savings. We won't use that for spending. So this is kind of like her spending and her savings. Those I do save for her directly out of my paycheck, every paycheck. Um, babe is also getting five. So in here, I've got 50, 70, 90, and 95. This is anything that I spend on him, like gifts, um, if I help him with his car because he has an older car, um, just anything. That's what that's for. Medical isn't getting anything. I still have the 500 that's in here. I finally got an appointment for me as ophthalmologist. That's like the end of July, which is way better than it's ever been. Usually I have to wait like six months minimum to get to the ophthalmologist, which is ridiculous, but um, end of July, we'll be going back. House and Trees isn't getting anything, <laughs> excuse me, isn't getting anything, but I do got to take money out. I just, there was a deal on Amazon for like four large bottles of Dove body wash for like seven bucks. So I hopped on that. I also did that like a couple months, maybe like two months ago. Um, and they're really good. So we got that and then update on car maintenance. You can see the envelope is not where it was. I had about $752, now I have $52. Um, I bought a car over Memorial Day weekend. Um, I was renting a car and it was like 200 a week even with my discount. So I couldn't justify spending the money on a rental anymore. And if I'm gonna spend that amount of money, I might as well just, I mean, that's more than a car payment, so. Returned the rental, bought a car, took the 700 out of car maintenance, left a couple because I'll probably be needing it for something, like for my boyfriend. So he's gonna be getting 20. So I've got 50, 70, 75, 76, and 77. So I got an Acura RDX 2021. Um, I really like it. <laughs> I ended up buying the maintenance program, um, like tire maintenance thing. And like if I get curb rash or anything, because it is a bigger vehicle, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get curb rash. So they'll come out and repair it. For, well, not for free. I'm paying for it, but it's not that much money. And then I got the maintenance and of course it has warranty. So I really don't have to worry about much of anything on my car right now, but I do want to continue putting money in here just in case you never know if something random comes up. Maybe I want an air freshener or whatever. And also um, because my boyfriend takes care of most of the household bills, this will be also for his car, if anything, because his is older. 
Christmas is going to be getting $30. Oh, okay. I did condense my envelopes. I swear I was a little confused about, but I condensed my envelopes after my last video um, before I went to get my car. So Christmas has 1,000 in the bank, which I deposited last week and then 20, 40, 50. So $1,050 is in Christmas. <clears throat> Gifts isn't getting anything. It still has a little over 200 for that. Um, Beauty is getting five, I believe. Yeah, so $5. This is my beauty and hobbies envelope. I think I bought like a face mist. We went out. <laughs> we went out to brunch for the first time since the whole COVID thing. Um, we went out and I forgot to like spray my face so I hated how it looked it looked kind of like powdery so I had to stop at Sephora because it was, Ulta wasn't on the way and I bought a face mist so that's where that money went um wedding is getting five dollars um right here so in wedding I've got one two three hundred fifty seventy ninety ninety five four hundred and one two three and four so $404 is in wedding. I want to try to meet, like get to a thousand by the end of the year for wedding. Probably won't happen, but uh, my boyfriend was thinking he wants a black wedding band. I don't know why I didn't expect that. I, he's the type of, per he's that type of guy, but yeah, he says he wants a black wedding band. So I want to be able to save up for that. Travel is going to be getting $20. And this is for our summer travel. We do have some plans over the summer. As of right now, we'll, we'll see how it goes once it gets closer to the time. Um, but in here, I've got one, two, three, four, 500, 25, 26, and 27. So 527 is in travel. And then emergency, since I did buy my car, um, I put that what I was initially going to put into car, I put most of it into my emergency. So now I have, I'm going to be putting a hundred dollars in here and emergency. I have 1000 that's in the bank and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, twenty, and thirty. So nine hundred and thirty dollars is in emergency. And then gas is going to be getting $40. I probably don't need this much, but because I now have, I haven't filled up my tank yet. Um, they gave it to me with a full tank and I haven't driven that much. I still have about a half a tank. So I don't know how much it's gonna cost to fill my tank up like on the norm. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95 and 100. So I spent 40, I had to put gas in the rental to return it <laughs> and then put 40 back in. So we'll see how much it costs to fill gas. Next week therapy is going to be on my budget because I'm starting again um, Saturday. So that I'll um, have to include that back in my budget. And that's that for my sinking funds and cash envelopes. And then my house savings is going to be getting $50 for remodel and renovation. Oof. Let me take this money out of the envelope first, probably. So remodel and renovation is getting 50. Oops. And we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, fifty, seventy, eighty, two, four, five, six, seven, nine thousand, nine hundred eighty-seven. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-seven. 
So we've got 9,887 in remodel and renovation. So I'm so close to the 10,000 here and super close to the 2,000 in my emergency fund. Um, in order to buy my car, I did have to take out of my safety net. I used the money from my car maintenance, um, whatever I paid myself from the business because I wasn't using it, it was just sitting in an account. Um, I figured might as well use it for that since I needed to buy a car and then I used the remaining that I needed for my down payment um, from my safety net. So now I definitely have to buckle down on emergency fund just in case, um, but otherwise everything else is taken care of. Let's, and I think that's it. So I'd like to thank you guys so, so much for um, watching my video this week. I know it's kind of short to the point, just want to make sure we give you guys a little update on what was going on with the car. I just couldn't do it anymore, you guys. I was wait, like blowing a, a lot of money um, on the car that I had. I still have the car, I didn't trade it in. I'm going to get it to run. And then um, a deal, a body shop wants to buy it. So they obviously were going to give me less money if it wasn't running and then they were gonna charge me. I was just like, you know what? I can fix it myself. I just it's just going to take me a while, so I'm going to fix it, sell it to the body shop. They're going to do whatever they want to do with it, which is not my, not much of my business after that. Um, and then that's it. I'd like to thank you guys so much again for watching my video. I truly appreciate all the support you guys have shown me. And I'll see you guys next week for my paycheck number two of June. Bye.